Hey guys, David Miller, Phoenix, Arizona multimedia artist. And I wanna show you some of my earliest work because when I got into photography, I was 19 years old and I just started taking college classes. I had... <clears throat> hey guys, what's up guys? It's David Miller, Phoenix, Arizona multimedia artist. And I wanna to talk to you about some of my very earliest work. I was 19 years old, my father passed away, I had some money, and I had just seen a gallery show of the work of Sebastio Salgado, which was very humanist work. This was around the time that uh, I started working in group homes with developmentally disabled clients. I also was listening to a lot of music, which was very pro-humanitarian type stuff. So I thought a lot about the human condition and I wanted to celebrate it in all its forms. Uh, I got my first camera and talking to the family members of the clients we had in the group homes, they were really supportive and on board with me photographing their children, their brothers, their family members. I don't know if all these guys are still around right now, but it was a great time in my life because if you've ever worked in a group home, one of your roles is that you take the clients out and you give them a good time in a social environment. So um, you're not supposed to sit around and watch TV and do nothing with these guys. They need to go out and do interesting things. And there's always money supplied by the company so the staff can go out and do interesting things with them as well. Now that I look back on this stuff 20 years later, I feel really grateful for the opportunity to be part of these guys' lives. And Documentary work uh, is not something you can just jump into and jump out of. You have to actually be involved in the culture and know people personally for the work to have any kind of resonance or meaning. Uh, once I was a high school teacher and I had a senior want to go take photos of the homeless people. She wanted to do a documentary project about it. And for a young girl to drive 30 miles and back and uh, try and hang out with people that she didn't know and a culture that she really didn't know much about, like that would have been an incredibly flat documentary project. I only wish my uh, skills back then were the same as the ones I have today. And of course, I kind of wish I had a digital camera back then because uh, I would have a lot more photos to show you. I was pretty limited by budget, by film constraints, by darkroom time. This is what survived over the last 20 years. So it was a really interesting opportunity to photograph people that are not usually um, showcased in the kind of photos you see on social media, on Tumblr, and magazines, whatever. Um, I'm still really proud of this work, even though the way that I shot it at the time was using a particular kind of film called TechPan, and then I would develop that film in uh, Dektal, and it would come out super contrasty. I had one of my professors call it bulletproof at the time. So it was like either all white or all black. And in that sense, it's kind of a failure if you're into the kind of photography that has detail and shadows and details and the highlights. That's not what I was doing at the time. And uh, of course, uh, whatever you do early in your career, you look back on it 20 years later and you're like, oh, I don't know about that style. I, I was really immature. But the fact that the work was very natural and showcased a lot of um, relatable human qualities and an interesting subculture, you know, this is kind of stuff that I, I've kind of gotten away from over the years. I feel like some of the things I do with my daughter are equivalent to this. And of course, it's my daughter, so it's going to be really personal and we're going to go out and have adventures and um, this kind of work. I always like to present it in black and white. I know a lot of people are pure color people or they like to, to play with that palette, but you know what, when it's documentary, I want to cut right to the themes and unless there's a reason for it to be in color, I'm going straight to black and white with this kind of material. So there you have it, some of the earliest stuff I ever shot, I'm talking about 1997, 1998, 20 years ago, can't believe it. I hope some of these guys are still around, who knows, maybe they're on YouTube watching this right now. But thank you so much for watching. And check out the rest of my videos on my YouTube channel. I got some gear reviews, other photography and art tips, got some personal video art. Also have a Patreon, patreon.com backslash David Miller. A lot of cool exclusive stuff there, tutorials and whatnot. 
and I'll talk to you next time.